Well guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Half Fast 719. I'm not going to show what's on the box because it has my address and everything else. Anyway, we got this uh, DB Motors uh, daytime running lights. So these are daytime running lights and turn signals. So kind of bored already in my house. I wasn't going to do anything this today. So I figured why not. <clears throat> so um so it says right here one of their first pieces of paper if you if you want to test the light before installing it, please follow the instructions. Use only 12 volt direct current must be used must use MOD for testing. So we got positive negative and then you got positive negative. Um your red and white here are for the daytime running lights. I have it wired up. It's pretty simple. Uh, three and three go together. Two and two going together. And one and one go together. And then obviously this is the lead to go to the mirror. Because it has all this uh, insulation. Uh, maybe not called insulation but it's like uh, water weatherproof insulation instead of like a bare wire so we know this will probably go in the door itself and this will probably go to well that's gonna go black's gonna go to ground and uh, red will go to power so I'll we'll probably tie it into the lock unlock or window button um, anyway so I just have a, a Milwaukee M12 12 volt battery so these things actually slide right in so as you can see, I think you could see, maybe not. Well, I can see. It says C3 negative and C3 positive. So we'll just, as you can see, there's no light on. Just plug this in. Boom. Instantly amber light. And then what's cool about this kit, I've already been playing with it for a second, is you get this wire here, this is ground, black is ground, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, got that in there. And you stick this in there. And nothing. So let me disconnect the amber. And we'll go in here. And make sure it's connected anyway it kind of it kind of does a fading effect let me uh, try and do this one-handed bear with me people um, let's see it's gonna work see that so it lights up get the wire to touch Anyway, so it kind of does like a uh, like a flow, almost like it's a you know low to bright, so kind of cool. So uh, this this one works. So now let me see if I can't get you guys up on a tripod. Hold on, real quick. Hold all this. Um, <clears throat> all right, here we go. I think I'm screwing in. I don't know yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the other one. So I'm going to disconnect all this. This will be for. Uh, left hand that was out of that package. We'll put that one over there because that one does work. And then I'll just show you guys how easy it is to assemble these. So these are going to be your wires. As you can see, it says one, the number one, and that says number one. So you just connect this goes in clicks 
that's that. This is your other wire for the uh, daytime running lights. So here we go. We got two and three, and we have two and three. And you kind of can't mess them up. You know, you can't put three and two together because they're both male. So you know, it's it's pretty much a bonehead safe. So it can only go one way. So there we go for that. And these aren't labeled because they don't need to be labeled. Um, it's kind of common sense after that. So let's get this light out. I can. So and this is right hand, obviously. So and this is bonehead proof too, because you can't put female female together. It's weird how that works. Male male can't go together. It's weird how that works. So um, anyway, got those wires in. Got those wires in. You take this. Your black is your negative. Your white is your positive. You make sure the battery's right. You got C1 negative. So we'll put the black into there and C3 positive. Boom. That works. So we're good there. Disconnect that. Run these wires. So again, negative, positive, and I don't know if you can see that or not. We got this one works. Pretty sweet. So now we gotta go take the mirrors off. And I think you gotta disconnect the door panel. So if you wanna figure out how to disconnect the door panel on the Dodge, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Um, you can go to like A1, A1 door actuator, and they show you exactly how. There's a lot of videos on how to take a door panel off. So I'm just gonna go take the mirror off and bring it in here on the bench and then follow the rest of their instructions. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got the mirror off. So it's right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pry this corner mirror off without breaking it. And if I break it, then I guess I have to buy new mirrors. But please don't break. Mm. Pops off, everything's still good. So, and now we have, if you guys can see in there, oh, that's me, hello. Anyway, we got the wiring harness here. So, I'm just gonna disconnect it. Maybe. Then you need a T something or other in there, which is not that one, which is probably in the truck, the one I already used. Let me just see. I have a small one here. Let's get this out of here. So, I remember right. Oh, you were supposed to leave the screw in. That's right. I remember that from my last ones. Then, just tap it. Tap it to unsnap it. Okay. Out with the old. Here's the old one. As you can see, well, somewhere in this drawer that you can't see. I have old ones in here somewhere. This is my junk drawer. Junk drawer where I keep everything. All kinds of old stuff. Hub cap thing, center caps, fasteners, 
I might have threw them away because they didn't work. But here's DB Motors, their interior light kit. That's the old stuff out of the old fourth gen. Be cool if they sent me another light kit for the inside. Um, anyway, let me uh, check and see which one is, which one this is. And screw not that. That means it's this one. So here you go. Apparently. Uh, left hand is driver's side, which makes sense. So, anyway, just gonna fish this through. And, catches on that little lip right in here. I'll run this screw in. Then the rest is all wiring, like running your wiring. Um, which is pretty simple. Well, simple but kind of a pain. You got to run it through here, and I got to take this cover off. So, practice makes perfect. The door panel was super easy. It took me about, I don't know, two minutes to take it off. It was a uh, Phillips screw behind the door handle, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six little like uh, plastic fittings. Um, that I unscrewed and then pulled the insert out. Um, yeah, and then uh, from there you just lift lift it off. And then you disconnect the uh, the switches, the window window and door lock switch. So let me try to get this uh, piece off. I'm gonna try to get this cover off because you have to take this you have to take this off this cover right here off in order to fish all the wires through. So let me try to get it off and then I'll show you how I got it off after it's off. All right, so it's pretty easy. Um, you just gotta, just gotta work it a little bit. If anybody's ever taken off a, uh, or taken apart a little like Nintendo, or uh, Xbox 360, got a little snap pins in there. Anyway, um, if you can see them, you just got those every here and there. All these little snap pins. It sounds like it's breaking. Oh, that one actually broke. Whatever. Um, you got plenty of plenty of them, and they just snap into all these. You could probably stick a screwdriver in there and push these down, mate. Push these down, maybe. And then you have this little weather strip here. So before I do anything, I'll probably clean it up as much as I could. Um, but yeah, so I got the cover off, and now you just got to run all the wiring. So let me uh, clean it a little bit and start doing some wiring. Alright, so if you're going to buy this light kit, <clears throat> if you're going to buy it, definitely recommend buying some new, some of their puddle lights, I guess you can call them. Um, they, like I said, they sent this before I sold my truck, um, or they shipped it out to me. Um, I'll probably have to get some more of these. Uh, I did break this one little tab right here, which I don't think it'll make a difference. So... Or was it right there? I'll just try to glue it back on um, before I do anything. Uh, but anyway, so they want you to get in here. So if you guys can send me a new set of these for the new truck that I don't plan on getting rid of. Um, yeah, but or I'll just go on your website and probably pick some up. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. You just take this here. This will be in like this. And then you'll just pry right here. So I know you can't see the wires once it's in, but it'll be like that. You'll just pry on this side, basically the edge closest to the outermost of the mirror. So anyway, got all the wire in here. Now I just got to run it through. Got to fish it through here, fish it into here, and then up, and then across, and then into the light. So, so far, pretty easy. All right, one little tip I'd recommend is these connectors right here I would run those through the hole, the metal hole first because when you run this through and then try running those through um, this hole gets a little tight so anyway so yeah I'm just gonna just fishing them through is all I'm doing um, pretty straightforward so I don't know if you can see 
what I'm talking about up here. So if you were to run this cable first and then try to fish these connectors because they're a little bit fatter up through, it's a little bit difficult. So just run the fatter cables and I like how they did it. So when you pull them straight, this one is longer than this one so they're not like this and you're not trying to shove both of them through. So pretty good little idea. Thinking ahead. Good job, DB. All right, I'll be back once I fish the wiring the rest of the way through. Okay, now that we got the wiring through, this the same goes for this over here. This is a, this one's a lot tighter this hole than that one. So this one you'll have to finagle the wiring. So, but definitely put these ones through first, and then uh, the other one will go through pretty quick. So it's pretty straightforward. So you have that, there's that picture, and that picture is of this connector. So, and it says right there. So if you're holding it, if you're holding it like that, like the picture says, the white's gonna go on this side. White, and then the black will go in on this side. And it, and it shows in the picture, not hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, jeez. So, it shows to go into that hole and not that hole because there's no no wire, there's no connector or nothing in that hole. If you can see that. So, just connect it into that hole. Push them all the way in. Then that part's pretty much done. Then you take this wiring and you obviously we'll just run it back around how it was somewhere in here um, just tuck, tuck all these wires down in there and tuck this wire down in there so it's out of the way and then you just connect these these like I said they're bon bonehead proof so you can only go there and you can only go there and then same thing what I'll do is I'll pull I don't know which one it was, but I'm going to pull some of this wiring because it's too much wiring. And then I'll tuck them in right down along there. So let me, oh, you can't see that. But anyway, I'm going to tuck them down into back and around there. And then you tuck the other one, just tuck it in there. Um, just because the mirror is tight. Everything, tolerance is tight. And then this mirror has to be able to move, so... Let me get uh let me finish the wiring, snap that mirror back on, and then uh, go do some more wiring. So one little tip I forgot to mention, and it does mention it in the thing. Uh, I thought it mentioned to flip the mirror up, but I think it means to fold the mirror. Um, I don't remember where it said it, but it said something about flipping the mirror. mirror. Take the whole tow mirror off, then flip the mirror before you use a flathead. Okay, so I would just do both. So the picture, picture shows both. If you could see that or not. Zoom in there. So yeah, so you could see the mirror is folded here and the mirror is folded up. So just do both. Um, it makes snapping this off and snapping it back on a lot easier because you got to get to this tab here so and as you can see the wiring got the wiring basically running the same exact pattern as the factory wiring so so now just snap this all back on and make sure your little rubber seal things still there and then uh, just work this back on somehow figure it all out but I'll go over that so I think it's pretty Pretty easy so far. Not too bad. Those are all snapped in down there. Those are snapped, snapped, and something's going on over here. Yeah, because I'm not in there. Okay. Yeah, so just gotta snap it all down, snap it all in. Crisscross, making the jump. Yeah. 
And then the Mac Daddies will make you want to jump, jump too. Let's go. Mm. Just got to work it on there. Richard Simmons. So, I'm sure it has to snap eventually. So let me get that worked on there, snapped on there, and then uh, we'll figure out the rest of the wiring. Okay, and just like that, the wiring in there, harnesses in there. Uh, let me test it before I snap this mirror on because I really do not like snapping this mirror on and off. It's kind of a pain. So, so again, you'll have three and three, four and four. Or two and two, sorry. And you'll have one and one. So, for some, oh, I kind of can only throw power to this because the other ones are connected to that deal. Um, so let's just see if amber works. I'm sure if amber works. The other one will work. Okay, negative. Negative. No power. So, all right. So we're good on this one. Um, and then it's all pretty much straightforward. The biggest problem is, I think honestly, is taking this mirror off and putting the mirror back on. So, because, you know, plastics and the truck being from Arizona, um, yeah, feels right. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, let me go throw the mirror on and then uh, we'll do some wiring inside the truck. I just don't want to be outside because it's windy. So, I will be back once the mirror is all installed. Alright guys, you're going to have to excuse the wind noise. So anyway, we got the wiring ran. Comes in here, obviously. Duh. Comes down in here, over here. And then I got the little box screwed down here, out of the way. So I've got a screw here and a screw up here. So this way it's tucked back in here because if you put it in here somewhere the door panel might hit it or something. So and then what I also did was uh, I took this cover off here that goes into this harness right there. And then you just lift these little tabs up in there. And then you pull these wires out. And so what I did was took the pink pink and yellow wire and black and green wire and uh, yeah I just cut them back back here it's hard to see that cut them back and soldered the wire in and then I'll use some tape to tape it um, so we'll show you real quick so no lights on so I did find a power source so when the key is on so key's on and we have a light on so this way it's not killing power so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, yeah put some tape around this um, it's pretty much gonna be the install of this uh, for this video um, I'll come back at night and then uh, turn them on I'm gonna do the other side I haven't touched the other side yet I'm gonna do that now that I know what everything needs and I'm gonna clean up a lot of this stuff in here I don't know what all that is but whatever so and then if you needed to get access this is kind of how you get access and then uh, this cover pops off here this thing goes like that and then you have all these little screws that go here two here two on the bottom two on this side you pull those out and then your thing fits in here with everything like that so pretty simple so just undo all those screws pull those little things out these little thingies 
pull those pull those out, lift it up, and then you'll disconnect uh, the switch here. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll be back once it's dark to show you what it looks like with uh, daytime running lights and the other thing. So and that's a DB motor or AI motor shop on YouTube or on uh, eBay and there'll be a link for all this down below. So all right, um, I'm going to finish this up. You guys will see when it's dark. All right, guys, here we go. Ooh, look at my headlights. So I got a lot of water in these headlights. Um, I kind of like OEM factory headlights. These are a uh, dual bulb. <clears throat> I think highs, lows, and then blinkers. So I got a lot, of, a lot of water in them. So anybody can help me out, give me some new lights. That's weird. Basically my heat from my hands are making it cry anyway I uh, got the lights all in pretty sweet those are hazards on and ignition on so you got white and then you have that I'll show you during the nighttime too um, but as you can see and this bulb is good the other bulb is bad so Anyway, pretty sweet. I'm liking them. DB Motors. DB Motors. Get yourself some. Comes with all the harness and everything. Link will be below. So, pretty sweet. I like them. I'm going to change this light bulb right here. Because this light bulb is bad. Um, the parking light doesn't work. They're easy to access. You just pull this little thing down in here and then you can get to it um, however I can't spin it out I don't have enough grip strength or anything but anyway I'm gonna show you what they look like at night so it'll be right now all right guys it is dark let's go check out these lights can't see nothing so let's see what we got Oh, I got no puddle lights. That's all right. So I'll throw the hazards on. What we got? Pretty bright. Actually, really bright. Pretty cool. I like them. All right, let me throw the key in. <laughs> Let's see. So that's daytime running lights and black or uh, hazards blinkers. So let's turn the hazards off. Oh man. So, there's that. Pretty cool. Makes the truck look uh, really, really big. And they're pretty bright. Oh, oh, almost went to the back door. Um. Headlights. My headlights are are dim too because the uh, all the water in there you can see all the water I'm blind let's see some some frog lights let's see if they even work there you go there's the frog lights when you're out frog hunting. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys click the link below. Go check out DB Motors. 
or I think it's RI Motor Shop. Um, check them out. Go buy some of their lights. Um, like I said, they do sell the puddle lights that go on the bottom. Um, they sell a really, really bright LED lights um, for the interior of the truck. So, probably have to pick me up some of those and some puddle lights for under because let's see yeah this one that one doesn't even work let's see if this one works this one works that is super dim like with the other one that it would go a lot farther so anyway guys that's gonna be it check them out link is in the description below let me know what you guys think and uh, that's pretty much it alright guys and uh, thank you again for DB Motorsports for sending those out that's all I got later